I think you'd look good with highlights. Not a bad way to start the morning. We are up on deck, enjoying some coffee, waiting on the sun to come up because today we are getting off the boat after four full days at sea. <laughs> wait to explore today. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Madeira because we weren't before we got on the cruise, it's an island that sits really far west off of the coast of Portugal and it's actually owned by Portugal as well. It's so much warmer than I thought it was going to be today. I'm so excited. So the boat docked about 20 minutes away from the center of town so we're walking into town now. I did a little bit of research yesterday on what to do here in Madeira. I have a few tentative plans but nothing set in stone. We're really just gonna wait and see where the day takes us, but we're gonna start by going to a local market that's supposed to have like fruits, vegetables, fish. We love checking out the local markets. Made it to the main part of the city. It is so beautiful. It reminds me so much of Cape Town, like the way the mountain has all of these little houses crawling up it, and even the way the clouds like sit on the mountain. And this boat dock is just gorgeous. tell that it's built within like a 20 minute walk of the cruise terminal because there were a ton of people walking around in there with cameras and it's lost a little bit of like its local vibe with that said totally worth going to especially just to see the fish market portion of it there's a bug that just landed on the camera hey, look. well we have found well, we had found ourselves inside of a barber shop. I've been looking for somewhere to get my hair cut for the past few weeks. On the ship, it's like 20 pounds, which is more than I've ever paid for a haircut. And this guy says he's gonna charge me seven euro. So, I've been wearing my hat a lot because I've been really needing a haircut. I'm sure this is not how most passengers on the cruise ship are spending their day. 
But we're traveling full time, so you've got to take care of these little things. And eight. What do you think of this haircut? Without the frosted tips, that would be good. I think I kind of like it. No. <laughs> I've been going there. My neck is on fire. It's always a little nerve wracking when you go in to get a haircut from somebody who can't speak the same language as you. I always just go with the, the strategy of showing him a picture that I've taken him on my phone of like when I had a fresh haircut and I showed him the picture and he looked at it for like a half second, long enough to be like, yeah, I'm gonna cut it the way that I want to. <laughs> and then he just started. I think he probably spent an hour on my hair. I had very, very low expectations the first few minutes. It was the weirdest strategy for cutting my hair that I've ever experienced. But I'd say it turned out pretty good. I have so much hair everywhere. I'm gonna be so itchy until we get back to the boat. But I think it was worth it. So it's about lunchtime. Our plan is still to get the ugly black fish for lunch. But we're planning on taking a bus or walking to this little fishing village to get that. But we're hungry now, so we're gonna get a little snack. We've heard that they have this really local snack. It's like a garlic bread stuffed with meat, like different kinds of meats. And we saw somebody cooking it on the street on the way in. So we're gonna go get some. What did you say, guys? What meat? Salami. Oh, that smells really good. Thank you. Obrigada. Obrigada. It's this bread that has garlic and salami. It smells like a pizza and it looks so delicious. I don't know how to eat it though. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is amazing. was super hectic. Getting here has been a lot more challenging than I thought. We were sitting on the bus and I put Camara de Lobos in Google Maps and was just kind of like watching the dot move across the map. But I felt like we'd been on the bus for a really long time and so I asked the lady in front of me and she didn't speak very good English but I said the name of the town and then she was like no no like we were stopping already when I asked the lady and so like we literally just jumped off the bus and I'm pretty sure we're here but we'll see. This is amazing. This beautiful blue calm water with these beautiful cliffs and all of these terraced banana trees, they're everywhere. It's like this quiet little fishing town with all these boats everywhere. Now we're gonna go find some lunch. It's a uh, rum. Rum? Rum, yes. The orange uh, uh -huh. and the uh, passion fruit. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Abrigada. Yum. So we both ordered the local drink called a poncha. I got the passion fruit. Apparently it's called the fisherman's drink because in the old days, or maybe still currently, the fishermen would come in after fishing at night and they would be really cold and they would order one of these to warm up in the mornings. Thank okay. you. Okay. okay, so we walked along the main street down by the water when we first got here, and there were just tons of people. All the restaurants were packed. So we thought we'd walk like up the hill a little bit to get away from that and see what we could find. I think we found a really good restaurant. It's overlooking the sea, and it's got this perfect breeze coming through, cooling us off in the shade. And we ordered the big ugly blackfish in the form of a fish sandwich. That is so good. It's such an ugly fish, but it tastes so much better than it looks. Apparently, Madeira is one of the only places where they still fish, what is it called? I think it's called scabbard. 
you can only fish for them at night and they swim really deep. So apparently it's just not worth it to a lot of fishermen to fish for it because not enough people eat it, but here they do. Are you recording? about five o'clock we just made it back to the boat we're gonna try to be a little more responsible than usual getting on the boat not like waiting to jump on the airplane at the last minute almost missing our trans-siberian train a couple weeks ago really scared us yeah we are not chancing letting this boat leave without us we're about to have a sailing away party everybody's up on the deck in their bathing suits and we're sailing to St. Kitts we'll be there in five days crossing the Atlantic tonight and the next time, <laughs> and the next time. I'm not sure what we're gonna do on the boat for five days, like video wise, but we'll figure it out. Or maybe we won't, and there will be no videos, and we'll magically be in St. Kitts. <laughs> thought I looked like Cristiano Ronaldo growing up since starting our YouTube channel. I hear it on a daily basis, so I'm almost starting to believe it. Oh yeah, and he was born here, so I'm sure there's gonna be pictures of him everywhere. I just need like a hipper haircut, a better tan, and a couple earrings. 